Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to take out the steps out of a host Yukon in preparation of receiving our torque lift glow steps. Two tools you're going to need. 9 16ths wrench and I'm going to use my impact with a 9 16 socket. You're going to take out six screws or bolts one two three and on the other side same position one two and three that's what holds this in that basically you take those off and this whole thing will drop and then the fun stuff with installing the torque lift so the reason why we're doing it is because we are just so far up off the ground and I have this suspension in our truck lowered right now. We have an EOG with the uh, liquid springs with the camp leveling. And right now it's at the lowest position and we still have that much of a gap. So we're gonna be changing those out and it's gonna be a fairly simple process of removing these and hopefully a fairly simple process of installing the torque lift. Stay tuned. that simple it really is use right tools and it goes really quick <laughs> So, as you can tell, it's better with two people. It's super easy. And I don't recommend it that you do it by yourself unless you have something underneath it to brace it. Okay, next stop is installing the torque lift flow steps. All right, guys. Here's part two of the video of showing you how we took our old steps out and putting the torque lift steps in. So, we've noticed that on YouTube, there's really no video that shows you step by step on how to do it. And that's what we plan on doing today. And at the end of this install, we're going to tell you why we did it. So here we go. So as you can tell, our old steps are out because y'all seen that part of the video. If Donna pans, pans down here, we're going to show you what we got. I'm not really doing an, any kind of an unboxing, but this is what was in the box. So we have the six steps for ours. So when you call Torque Lift, there's somebody that actually answers the phone, which is really cool. You don't have to press numbers or anything like that to, to, to talk to someone. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna wanna know a couple measurements. They're gonna wanna know what your measurement is from here to here and from here to here. So be prepared for that. And they'll be able to tell you right away which ones you need. In our case, we needed the six steps. So this is what we, get, what we got, what came in the box is the hardware to mount it and these are spacers so when you use the spacers is if your opening is wider than the mounts then you're going to use this it's kind of pretty self-explanatory but that comes with it these brackets here are specific to our host yukon and when we put the information in on the video we'll definitely list all the part numbers and everything but these are the very first things that we're going to do you're going to see these bolts here when you took when we took the old steps out, you need to keep these bolts and nuts in, in order to install these back. Make sure you keep them all nice and neat so you can have them. Very, very important. These hardware here is to install this. So, so far the tools that I think that I'm gonna need is I'm gonna use my impact wrench. I'm gonna use a 9 16th deep well socket, a box end wrench and uh, I'm going to use a half inch uh, socket and box end wrench. I'm pretty much going to use the 9 16ths to install our old hardware. 
and the half inch will be used to install uh, part of the new hardware and if you need to use the spacers then you'll go up in size on the bolts in the hardware bag and you'll use the 9 16 I'm not real sure at this point in time if we're going to use the spacers which again are right here uh, I don't think we are but I have them laid out in case I need them and I won't really find that out until actually I mount these all right so we're going to install the host Yukon specific brackets so you're going to see four holes here and two on the side and on our application that it's going to mount like this up in here on the original frame so you're just going to line on ours we're going to line up these first three holes here basically like that put it in just like you took the old bracket out and uh we'll go from there what i have found to do is to take another bolt and line everything up have your nut ready i.e that's what's in my mouth <laughs> Put your finger on top to hold the, the washers in. Hold it up and try to put the nut. Oh, try to put the nut on there. It's not that hard. I just got big fingers. So you just start one. Just let it like that. You're good. And then you're basically going to just repeat the, the process. All right. Once you got it up, I'm not going to tighten it all the way down. I'm just going to snug it up a little bit. Just kind of take some of the play out of it. And again, I'm using the 9 sixteenths. The reason why I'm not tightening it all the way down is because we have to, this is adjustable and our steps 24 and 7 eighths inches. So when I measure this and put this other bracket up, the space between this bracket and this bracket needs to be at least 24 inches, 7 eighths. So that's why they're not completely tightened down. So basically, once you get that up, you just repeat the process and do it over there. All right, we're going to do a quick measurement and show you what I need to do. So we need to make this in here. Our step width was 24 and 7 eighths. And right now we're right at 25. And that's what this pushed pretty much all the way that way. So what I did is I tightened this side down where I kind of thought I wanted it. And then I'm going to bring this side in and use this side as the measurement to get my 24 and 7 eighths. So if I did exactly 24 and 7 eighths, it would be, you know, too tight, I think. Uh, so I'm going to probably do like 25 just to kind of give me a little bit of fudge factor in there so I can uh, mount the steps. All right, this here is the hardware that we're going to use to mount the sides to the brackets that we installed. We're going to use the smaller hardware. There's two sets. You're going to use the bigger set stuff for when you use the spacers. Okay, there's two ways to install the steps. One way, and it's in the directions, but you can take these bolts out here on both sides guy's got to like my pointy stick right anyways uh you take these out right there unlatch it from here and the steps will com come off completely off the bracket the second way to do it is to extend the stairs out all the way take them you know undo it and then take the stairs out and then there should be light enough the key word here is should because we've never done this before either but this is what i think the best way for us to do it is we're going to extend the stairs out and then two people no matter what you're going to need two people really uh, she'll hold it up and most of the weight will be on the legs once the stairs are extended so all she's got to do is just hold this part up the stairs will have the rest and then just line it up and bolt it down so that's the way we're going to try it now <music>
Okay, so we decided that it was just too hard for us to try to install it with the steps in, on, on the bracket already. So we're just gonna go ahead and take these steps off. It's super easy to do. I don't know why I was kind of fighting it. I just thought it would be easy to do. But it, it does add quite a bit of weight to it, trying to hold the bracket up there. It was just too difficult to do for us. So it comes with an Allen key already. And you just put it in the side over here. And you're just gonna take these off. This is the only ones you need to take off. Don't take anything else off. And you're just gonna repeat the process on the other side. So basically what we did is just two people holding it in. I got the, just the bolts hanging in there on this side just to hold it. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this, just to kind of take the weight off of it. This is the plan. So got it lined up. We're just putting the bolts in. And now I'm gonna put the washers and nuts on. It is definitely a tight space to work in. But if you take your time and have an awesome wife like I do for a partner that helps you do stuff, it works out great. Like when you're on front. Mm -hmm. So once you get it hanging, very little play. Let's, uh, we're gonna measure this up here to make sure this is this spot up here so it's not tilted down. Okay, okay now I need to, to drill. Thank you. Make, tell me how far we gotta come up. A little under an inch and a half. Oh yeah, it needs to go up. How much does it go up? Need to go up so. Uh, right, right there. Yeah. Okay, so. I don't have my torque wrench here. It says you're supposed to torque these down to 25 pounds. Um, I will see if someone has a torque wrench I can borrow. But actually, if you have the right tools, it's not, you got plenty of room to do this. But I thought it was gonna be a lot tighter than it is. But actually, it's not as, not as bad as I thought. So all we gotta do now is reinstall the steps, which should be easy. <laughs> this is so much lighter. Oh my God. So this is gonna go right in the middle, straighten these out. Look, there you go. Okay, go ahead and do yours. Now start it and put the washer in there, the bushing. And then stick it through the hole there. You got it? Mm -hmm. Try it, see if they work. If they fall, it's on you. Is that too high of a step going into the truck? Or a camper? Open up the doors. No, not at all. Oh, you mean too much distance between yeah. here and here? Yeah. No. I mean, uses a little muscle, but... Let me try it. Oh, it is kind of a, when you come down. It's not so bad going up, but... So you can adjust it. Lift, lift up over here. Close the door? No. Lift this up a little bit. Just take the pressure off of it. And then go to the medium length, medium height. Right there. Oh. Yeah, that's better. So you can go medium, high, and low. Yeah, that's better. Come on, Kiki. Come on. Come on, Kiki. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Kiki. All right, come on.
Kiki, come on, up, up, up. Come on, good girl, up, up, go ahead. Good girl, good girl, okay, come on, come on. This is a good girl, this is a good girl. <laughs> okay, all right, come on, Kiki, let's go, come on. Come on, come on. Good girl. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how to do the operation after we did the install. So the very first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna pull the safety pin out, which goes in between these two holes here that lock it in when it's in transit. You got a left or a right release, left hand or right hand, whatever where it's easy for you. And you're gonna lift that up, and the very first thing you do is you're gonna grab a hold of the top stair here. Not down here, but right here. You're gonna so I'm gonna lift it up and I'm gonna pull it out just a little bit. You got three different levels in here before I keep going. You got a low, a medium, and a high. And what those are is a step adjustment towards the height of the first step to the entrance of your, of your rig. So in this case, it's a truck camper, but this will work on any RV, uh, you know, specific to the RV. So I'm gonna pull it out. I'm gonna now bring it out a little bit on the bottom towards me. And the very first level is gonna be when this nut right here is in this area there. So that's high. So this is going to be the highest level from here to here. They recommend that you try to use it medium, but it's going to be specific on what you, environment you're in. If you're on a sidewalk, woods, sand. So you do have three different adjustments. So I'm going to continue going to the middle adjustment, which is medium and which is right there. Did you see how it increased the step height? And then of course, low is the, gonna be the lowest one right there. Okay, so we're gonna take it back up to medium. We're just gonna turn it around and go up a little bit with it and lock it in. That's locked in. Then you take this, grab the bottom of it. And it's just like an accordion, it's super easy. The more you use it, the more it's gonna stretch out and, and get used, you know, um, you set it straight down and you can adjust the legs accordingly. So we're going to pull that down just a little bit here to lock that in. And that's as simple as that. And then I put the handy dandy dirt destroyer on to keep the dirt out. If only that would work for Kiki. <laughs> <laughs> when you're stowing, it's just the opposite. I found it easier that if I pick it up from the bottom and I basically, you can use your arms or you can use your chest, whatever is easy, but you want to make sure that it's squished all the way. You don't have to worry, worry about readjusting the legs to zero unless there's something you want to do. When you get it up, you're going to lift the handle up to lock. Again, that's a medium. You don't have to do that, but you're going to go all the way until that latches. See how it locked automatically? You put the pin back in, in there like that, and that prevents this from, you know, if you, that doesn't move, that locks those in. You're done. This is not going down. You're good to go. If you have any questions, ask in the comments. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's any videos you'd like to see in the future, please leave a comment below and we'll see what we can do about that. And what else was I supposed to say? Oh, <laughs> if you could please like this video and subscribe to our channel, it would really help us out. Thanks and we'll see you next time. So we've got a couple other products that we're gonna be reviewing for, for torque lift. Um, I think the next video is if you guys got a truck camper, you might be very interested in this one. I'm gonna be going over uh, the new fast guns and we are using the shorties and I'll give you all the particulars on how to build these and how to actually use these the correct way. And we also give you the pros and the cons between the happy jack and the fast gun. So that'll be on the next video. So stay tuned if you really wanna learn something on that. And I promise you it won't be a very long video for either for this one. All right, to, all right, to recap what we did today with the, with the install of the torque lift glow steps, we're gonna give, give y'all our honest opinion of how the install was. First of all, I want to thank Torque Lift for reaching out to us to become product evaluators. They sent us this product to install in the truck camper because they knew that we needed the set. 
to replace our old since we've gotten our elevation off-grid pickup truck. So the, the first thing I want to say is that the, the box, it comes in a really big box. It says fragile on it, but do inspect the box because it comes FedEx and it gets beat up. Uh, everything was in our box was okay, but just make sure that you, you, you inspect the box. The reason why we changed our steps out was because we had the, the, the original steps that we showed taken out. Everybody calls them like the diving board effect. When you're stepping on that last step, you know, it bounces. And when you're getting up into the RV or getting out of the RV, everything is rocking, you know, because all that weight's on that part, which is on the, the, the frame of the RV. You know, you'll read and, and see other stuff where people have fallen off those because they're really not the safest. You want something that is ground mounted and ground stabilized, i.e. these things here. So with the new torque lift steps, they definitely take out the diving board effect. And the, the space between the risers on each step is pretty much universal. With, uh, at, at, they're at seven and a half. And in the States, a step is anywhere from seven inches to seven and three quarters inches. So it's right there in the middle. So that's your average step. So you're not reaching real high to get up. The other thing is, is that each landing pad is individually uh, has a support on here and, that you can adjust. So if you're in rocky terrain, a hilly terrain, i.e. we're on a slope right here. So we have this one lower or higher, lower, I guess, lower than that one there. Um, you can adjust them. There's infinite ways to be able to adjust those things. The other options on this is the, the, the infinite ability to adjust these steps from coming out all the way to here to bringing them in shallower. So let's say that, uh, like I said, you're, you're at a, a rest area or a cracker barrel and you, you're trying to keep everything within the parking lot uh, space. These things will go down. It limits how much foot pad you have but it's still accessible. It's still easy to do. So you can, you can change these a lot. My biggest thing, and I said it earlier, is that on our old steps, they're, they were steel. So what happens to steel when it's in the weather? It rusts. So if you're not taking care of them by greasing them and getting the rust off and painting them, it, they're gonna look like crap to just be honest with you. These are aluminum. There's little to no maintenance on these things. They're not going to weatherize. They're not going to rust. So that to me, that's a big thing for me because it's less work I have to do on my honey-do list to, to get stuff taken care of. So they call them glow steps because they have the, the markers on the corners. And I pointed that out earlier and that's pretty cool. So you don't have to have light out outside or anything like that. So they do glow in the dark. So they mark the runway basically on the steps. So it makes it a little bit easier to, to traverse. The last thing I want to bring up is the weight. Where Donna, she would have a lot of problems with the weight. Tell them about the weight that you would have towards getting the old steps and everything out. Oh yeah, they were. it was really hard. They, for one, if they weren't recently greased, they would kind of just like stick. And I had to like use my whole body force to be able to close them up. And then trying to get them out to maneuver them to actually pull them down. It was just really a problem. It was hard. Yeah, so these I would say are about a, a third of the weight. So anytime you cut down on the weight, especially with a truck camper, really any RV, if you can cut that weight in half towards the the old to the new, that's a big thing. So it just gives her more room for clothes. Um, <laughs> so, and um, shoes. I really don't see any negatives other than they do come out a little further than the old steps, but the old steps would come out to about right here, but then you still had to have to stool down here. So they were, it's about the same footprint. I know a lot of people have used torque lift products. I've used them since we've been RVing. Uh, we have the, the Super Trust, I have the Canon. We have a lot of torque lift products. Um, and when they reached out to us, I was, yeah, for sure, I'll, I'll, I'll be on board with, with doing this with you guys because they're 100% they're quality. When you're thinking about the Cadillac of this type of product, you're thinking torque lift. 
Mm -hmm. you don't really want to deal with any other knockoff. There's, you know, you want to go with this company, customer service. It's made here. It's just quality. You can tell when you pick it up, it's just quality. Highly, highly recommend that you, you take a look at this product and uh, all of Torque Lift products. I do believe that Torque Lift is going to be giving our viewers a discount code. We will add it into the description. We will yes. out, also put the part numbers into the description of what we had. So if you have a host Yukon, this is what you need. Don't just be limited to a, to a truck camper. This product works on just about any RV that has any kind of step problems. So if you have the, the steps that go inside your RV and you have room to be able to put them down like this, this is the way to go. They don't get inside your RV. You're not going to be getting anything side, inside dirty. Mm -hmm. um, so 100%, I think that's the way to go. That's and all. I love the little thing that they add to put on the side <laughs> oh, where you can scrape off your shoes. <laughs> She's talking about the, the dirt destroyer. So yeah, this is definitely pretty handy because we have the one that, that you got. I think we got it at, geez, was it Harbor Freight or something? The square one, the little rug one you put your feet on, you rub it. This is so much better. Oh yeah. And if it does get dirty, all you got to do is stick the water hose to it and get all the mud off of it and call it a day. Yep. So, and it's that easy going on. You got anything else, babe? I'm good. All right, I guess that's it. Hopefully we'll see you all on the road and uh, we're definitely gonna be in court site for the truck rally. So uh, hopefully we'll see everybody there. All right, yeah, bye-bye. for us. Bye. All right, to recap what's going on. Give us, give, okay, to, okay. Okay, to recap. <laughs> Stop, you're making me laugh. I'm trying to smile. <laughs> trying to smile like people do in the videos. <laughs> Are you taping still? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, to recap, by the way, she won't let me get a beer. So, to recap. <laughs> Let's right. be real. All right, I'm trying to be. Okay, we won't. <laughs> oh, this is hard. No, stop it. Okay, to recap what we did today and give it give you all our honest opinion of, of how the install went and everything, this is where we're going to go. The first one, I think, Thor... Uh,